like a minute to get into the swing of things today because I've been doing absolute fuck all. It's been good though. Fuck all is good these days. Sometimes I have some idea of what I'm going to say. Most of the time I don't. But most of the time I can come up with a subject and sort of just riff off it and then one thing will lead to another. As long as you keep on talking. If you keep on talking, then ideas bounce around and they continue. Every now and then, you just get an empty vessel. I've been really straining the last 15, 20 minutes to even come up with the ideas. I came up with a couple. I came up with a couple. One of them was to read you out a passage out of a book that I liked, but I couldn't find the fucking book. So that was no point. So I looked around I looked around for that for about ten minutes. That was good procrastination. Um then the second idea was second idea was probably a little bit better. I'll talk about how fucking sweet it is these days raising kids with mobile phones, with iPhones and iPads, it's so much easier. You just give it to them and kick them into the corner. And you're like, yeah, do what you need to do on it. But that, I felt like that was going to sound like too much of a comedy bit. Not the real gritty stuff. The real grit. It's what people want. They just want true grit. Then the other thing is, the other thing is, now I'm fucking deep into this. I can't remember half the shit I've said in half these things. And I don't want to go repeating myself too much. Like, I will definitely repeat, but I don't want to go repeating myself too goddamn much. Then my third idea was, maybe I'll just go through an old notebook, maybe read out some of my dumb fucking ideas, see what's going on there. So I I grabbed one of my old notebooks, and I started flipping through it, and not that many notes in there. A few notes, but mainly, mainly it is filled with notes from my wife asking for divorces and hating me and calling me a piece of shit and then leaving it on my pillow for me to find when I walk in. I think there's about five, five notes. They sort of begin, I'm not going to read out the whole fucking thing, but I'll give you an idea of how they begin... Oh, this one must be from a while back. This one... <laughs> yeah. This one must have been from when I was drinking. This one isn't even that bad. It's fucking sweet. It starts... This is in my... This is in my comedy notebook. It's, it starts... Hi, babe. She definitely... She definitely wasn't saying it in that voice. Hi, babe. It was my... Hi, babe. You're probably not going to remember much of last night, but I want to remind you because it was annoying. You kept taunting Ritika, which is one of her friends. You kept taunting Ritika of her divorce and how fucked she is, which turns out to have been bang on because they ended up having a massive falling out and now they don't even talk. It was barely funny for five seconds. I think what she's trying to say there is I had the crowd for four seconds. It's pretty good. I kept warning you and you didn't give a fuck. You kept going on and on and on. Despite me telling you how sensitive she is and how I'm out to have a good time. You didn't give a shit. (laughs) It says, go to YouTube and play the most bogan slang. And that's what that's what you kept saying. It was so embarrassing. Even Sean and Lily's left. Why does it always have to be this way? It's very unfair. You, appar- <laughs> you apparently told Riddika, you have a husband, but you don't. Who the fuck are you to say that? I'm writing this to you at 2am. I hope you fucking understand how you've... Let me down again. I've stopped keeping count. Seriously. Grow fucking up. Thanks. 
Well, that wasn't even such a bad one. And to be honest with you, I'm going to show that to her because she'll be fucking happy about me shitting on Riddika now. Because that bitch has been a fucking nightmare ever since she came to Australia. So, well, that's what you do. You just start talking and then something pops up. Something fucking pops up. It's like my old drinking philosophy. Just keep drinking and something will happen. Okay, that's me done. I hope you're enjoying the podcast. Add me on social media, at Boyle Comedy, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And if you're enjoying it, share this, share the podcast with your friends. Like, subscribe, review. All right, see you later.